let's understand optic atrophy which is characterized by paler or paleness of the optic disc. There are four types of optic atrophy. Primary optic atrophy implies there is no previous disc swelling. For example, in compressive lesions, retrobulbar optic neuritis, toxic optic neuropathy and nutrition optic neuropathies, there is no disc swelling. So without any disc swelling, there is going to be setting up of paler. On the contrary, in a secondary optic atrophy, there will be a disc swelling. For example, papilledema, papillitis, NAAION. In these conditions, you will have a disc edema leading on to a disc paler. Whereas in consecutive optic atrophy, there is going to be a retinal pathology such as retinitis pigmentosa, vasculitis, post pan retinal photocoagulation. In these conditions, you will have a consecutive optic atrophy. The final is going to be glaucomatous optic atrophy, which is commonly seen in advanced glaucomatous optic nerve damage, where you will have a typical glaucomatous cupping along with the paler of the neuroretinal rim.